Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today to watch another Kenworth truck video. Oh yeah. Um, so today we are looking at the very last T680 <coughs> old generation that I have uh, sold. Now I might sell used ones down the road, but this is the last brand new one here that I have. And if you watch to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at the next gen, which is right behind the camera right now. There's one here right now, uh, which is sold to the same guy, believe it or not. But anyways, let's uh, see what this truck is all about and uh, we'll do the full walkthrough. So this is a brand new 2022 Kenworth T680. Uh, if you remember about a year and a half ago, I sold the exact same color truck, which is legendary red, to Kristin Sikriunsen. Uh, he runs a company called The White Viking, and you can check him out on Facebook. He's got a Facebook link. I'll put it up here in the top of the screen. You can check it out, give him a follow. Uh, but anyhow, with this truck, uh, this is a 229 inch wheelbase. We did make it exactly the same with a few minor tweaks. We kind of uh, toned it down a little bit as far as options go. Uh, so we have the 76 inch tall sleeper with the bunk doors with the no windows in it. So that's a change that we did on this one here. So those are optional. You can get them with or without the bunk doors. Uh, we did the full chassis fairings all the way across. As far as the rims, we have the Durabrite rims, hence the black sticker on them right there. And uh, this here is the standard length hood. We have the chrome mirrors on both the, the mirrors right here and up on the back there. And then uh, there is the standard headlights. We did a painted bumper and it does come standard with this aluminum metal mesh grill with a chrome shroud around it as well. I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to be turning the camera too far this way because that truck right, oh, that truck right there is the next gen. We're going to be showing that in the near future. So you got to stick around for that one. Uh, anyhow, so on this side here, we have, again, partial chassis fairings. We did put in the access door right here. Uh, so this is to access the battery. So you just pull that and then it uh, pops out. It is a little finicky here at times, so uh, I, I don't want to open it here right at the moment. So you'll notice here as well, on the side here, we have the engine heater, oil pan heater, and shore power. So this does come with the inverter from the factory. Uh, now we have no door on this side, so it has the vent with the painted vent cover. Def tank, there's the fuel tank right there. Uh, and on the back wall here, we have the vertical back of sleeper exhaust. And then we have the uh, condenser right there because it does have the factory Kim's system. Kenworth Idle Management System is what that stands for. I will be doing a future video about the Kim system, how to operate it, how to use it. And uh, so stick around for that. Uh, as far as the frame, we have no frame access steps. Just uh, we went with a shorter wheelbase, like I said earlier, a 229. 
and uh, no access steps and we maximize the fuel capacity as well. So this one here is a 150. So with the 150, it push, pushes way back here. And I believe we did the same on the other side. No, we didn't because on this side, uh, you can't really see it, but in there is the batteries for the Kim system. So that one I think would be like a 110. Uh, yeah, exactly, that's a 110 right there. Now with this here, it has the uh, AG400L suspension and this axle is actually the Econotrack axle. It is a forward drive axle with a locking differential and a trailing dead axle. So this might uh, remind you guys about what, uh, what we did on the last truck. And what's different here, the last truck we did for this uh, customer was we put on the uh, singles, super singles on here, and this has the duals. Uh, so that's, uh, that's something there. Uh, disc brakes all the way around. So that's what we got underneath uh, there. As far as fifth wheel, Holland fifth wheel slide right there. Uh, you can catch a sneak peek of the other truck in the reflection of the window right there. Uh, righty, <laughs> so factory S-Bar heater right down there. Uh, let me open up the hood here and I'll show you what we have going on underneath. I'm not turning the camera. You guys are gonna have to wait till the next week's video or maybe in two weeks. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it, but uh, it's gonna be around the corner. All right. So under the hood here is the Packard. It is the Packard MX-13 and it's rated at 430 horsepower. So this truck is just doing an 80,000 pound gross combined. So we're looking to maximize fuel economy, uh, not overpower the engine. So this is how uh, my customer wanted to spec this truck out. So uh, like I said, we have the disc brakes all the way around. We have the Packard fuel filter. Now I know I get a lot of people commenting about the Davco fuel filter. You cannot get the Davco fuel filter with a Packard engine. Uh, so if you are trying to spec it, it's not an option. It's only available with the Cummins, unless it's an unpublished option, which I'm not aware of. So um, it isn't in the standard data book to have the Davco with the Packard engine. Fluid levels are all right on this side here. Uh, we got your washer fluid, your coolant up on the other side power steering right there with the filter right below. And then, like I said, your fuel water separator, engine oil fill and uh, check right there. Now over on the other side, we have the turbo, the hot side. And uh, what else can I tell you here? So up here is the HVAC system, easy access. Ouch, just give that a, a twist and then that pops out. I pulled my nail back here just now and uh, Ouch, that hurt. Uh, and I got some grease on me too. Lovely. Uh, so that's a filter, easy to change. You might whack your nail on there if you're not careful, like I just did. Uh, and the last truck that we ordered, it also had the uh, Bendix Wingman Fusion System. So that's the lane departure system. And we opted to not put it on this particular truck. So we'll close up the hood and uh, show you what we got inside. All right, so you'll notice here we have the tan interior. Uh, so this is a little bit of a redesign of the tan interior, and this is the last of this style. The new style cabs, this is all black. So that's just kind of how they come. And then you have the option to uh, trick out the, uh, the trim pieces right there. So, and then uh, up here we have the heated, cooled leather seats. So those are the perforations in there. And then uh, same thing on the passenger side with the swivel seat. Uh, it has a leather wrapped steering wheel. Jay Palachuk! <laughs> How's it going? Oh no. Go, go talk, I'll come and talk to you in a minute. I'm finishing my video. Oh. All right. So, like I said, we got the leather up steering wheel. We have uh, cruise control and Jake's in the smart wheel as well. As far as the dash uh, configuration, we have your standard dash right up there with all the gauges. And then over here is the additional six gauges. And then we opted to go away from the Nav Plus. So we just have a, a, 
a panel. We also can put in a storage pocket there if a person so chooses. If you do order this by mistake and wanted to have the uh, storage pocket, it's only like a $45 part. So it's not too bad if you do wanna add that. So I'm going to uh, show you up here. This is the, uh, where we have the, uh, I, I just threw myself off by covering the camera, but that's where the CB radio is. Yay, I got it, CB radio. Um, anyway, so that's where the CB radio would go. And then uh, on the back, oh, 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 maybe I showed it, I don't know. Uh, on the back here, we have the upper storage, or sorry, the upper bed, and the lower uh, liftable mattress down below. And then there's the swivel table, the TV mount, and then there is the plugs for the inverter, along with the 12 volt outlet. And then you also get them up there as well. Just gonna move these out of the way here. There we go, now I can walk back here. Uh, so in this storage closet here, we have a shelf, and then up above is a spot to hang clothes. And then you got storage on both sides there and there. And then on the back here, we have the options for the Kim system, which I will show in a future video how to use that. There's the inverter uh, switch for the fridge, and then there's the alarm clock, and then your door locks, your night light, your bunk lights, and then your adjustment for the temperature in the back here. Here is the fridge. So nice drawer style fridge, freezer, which is removable so you can um, you know, have a larger fridge if you so choose. And then down below here is an additional shelf. And we did the two shelves down here as well. Like I said, this table does swivel out of the way. So very easy to do that. And then the TV mount is right there. Now I'll give you guys a quick tour of the um, the swivel seat, how that works. So what you do, you push that, that way there's air in the seat. You need to have air in the seat so that it can clear this area over there. Now you need to slide the seat forward just a bit. I'm just gonna maybe put this down for a second. Slide it forward just a bit, flip this, and then the seat will swivel around so long as you're clearing all of the components that are down on the bottom there. So just like so. And then you have a nice little driver's studio to sit into and you have a nice seat, air conditioned, cooled, heated seat. It reclines and you got your table, your TV. So a very nice setup. So that's uh, what we got there. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Again, Kristen Sigurgensen, a big thank you to you for purchasing this beautiful T680. I'm looking forward to handing you the keys. And I'm also looking forward to handing you the keys to your new T680 next gen. That is right over there. I'm pumped uh, for the for the update. It's it's looking sharp. It's looking sharp. Gotta love it. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that. Click down on the bottom there. Uh, if you want to check out what we have for sale, or you want to build and customize your own truck, you can go up here. It takes you to the KenworthGuy.com. And if you uh, want to stop by the store, I'm here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, at Inland Kenworth. So thanks for stopping by. And as always, have yourself the world's best day. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I don't know what to do my, with my hands right now. Um, so it's Friday afternoon here. I'm leaving. Have yourself a great weekend.